that again. Wait, just wait. This one is real. You're looking to get your passport in less than 24 hours. In fact, in four to five hours, you are at the right spot. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to get your passport in four to five hours. Way faster than the expedited password that I'm seeing all over YouTube. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I am starting this a video with complete honesty. So I have to correct my statement in the beginning. I said how you can get your passport in four to five hours. But the truth is what I should have said is how I got my passport in four to five hours and how I will try to help you get your passport in four to five hours with you following these steps. You see this line graph right here? Remember when I said that an expedited passport is not as fast as an urgent passport? This is what I mean. So I'm gonna go through the different types of passport speed that they are. So first is the routine passport one. That one you're traveling in eight weeks or more. So typically with the routine people, normally just mail out their passport and get it whenever they get it which is you know between the six to eight weeks it does take eight more weeks but you send it out in the mail and you get it between six to eight weeks if you guys want me to do a video of this whole how to send it out in the mail i can do that but this is not what this video is about so moving on from the routine is the expedited so the expedited one is the one that i see all over youtube everybody's like expedited passport so that one is when you're traveling in less than eight weeks Okay, so you choose the service if you're traveling less than eight weeks from the date that you submit your application. So with the expedited passport, if you send it in the mail, just like most mailing thing, it'll tell you that it takes two to three weeks and it does not include and that does not include the mailing time. So if you're going to mail something, it's going to take longer. But the purpose of this video is not about anything that's email it's actually going in person to make sure that you get the passport the same day so as i said this video is going to be about the urgent passport so the urgent passport is a passport that you get in less than two to three weeks okay so the next step up from the urgent passport is an emergency passport and the emergency passport is one that you get within 72 hours and a lot of time with the emergency passport it includes like the death like a life or death situation like if you have someone in hospice so like if you are going to use that you're going to need to have the death certificate or you're going to have to have like medical doctor's notice from hospice and and you know all of these so i'm really sorry for anyone who has that situation they have to use the emergency but that's what you have but what i had was the urgent password and because of how my situation was they treated my urgent passport as an emergency passport and I got it the same day so I thought about when I wanted to reveal the big secret of how I got it um, within four to five hours like I was gonna wait till the end of the video and I'm like you know what I hate when people make me wait till the end of the video I don't want to waste your time if you want to stay and watch the video awesome definitely stay and watch it if you don't then I hope you get the information from someone else and also I feel so bad that my other video I think um, or the part two of the video, I don't know if it was as informative as I wanted it to be. It was really about, you know, when I went to the passport office in Miami and my eyes like swelled up the day before and then I kind of did that whole thing, but I did not give information in terms of how to fill out the application, which is what this one is going to be about and more information about like, you know, questions that people ask. So I will be answering a couple of questions, but like I said, I um, don't want to waste your time. I am left definitely letting you know that what I did was the urgent password. And because my travel was within two days of the time that I had the password. So I went, I went on a Friday and my travel was on a Sunday. So because there was no in between and I was already there, they gave they treated it as if it was an emergency and they gave me a mass passport in four hours like the people there were absolutely amazing they were amazing like there was no reason to lie there's no reason to be rude or anything they were just really amazing and they gave me my passport right away so really the big key to me getting my passport in four to five hours was that if you go, the most important thing is whatever your itinerary, the date that you're traveling, the closer the date that you're traveling is to your appointment, the faster that they're going to give you the passport, seriously. So if you're traveling the next day, 
guarantee you're going to get that passport within four to five hours. If you're traveling within two to three days, guarantee you're going to get that passport within that time. The tricky part is not necessarily getting the passport. The tricky part is getting the appointment. And as the video go on, and I'll repeat this again, it's like there's only 26 sites. I'm moving my hands. You can't see I'm behind the camera. Sorry. So there's only 26 sites. So it's either like if you're living in certain places that the site is not there, that means in order to get that expedited passport, you literally have to fly somewhere or you will have to drive, you know, 10 plus hours to get there. So it's, 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 it's a tricky situation, but know that it is possible to get your passport in a day or less than a day or four to five hours or by the time the business closed. So this episode, I'm really just going to talk about the forms, um, how to fill them out and kind of talk about my mistake and me filling out the wrong form initially. Oh, which is also super, super important. You need, in order to even get that password, any of those things, you need to make sure that the forms that you fill out, it's filled out correctly. Like that is key to everything. Okay. So key. So let's just get into the video right now. All right. It is 2020 for how to renew your passport. Google or urgent passport renewal. You click on it. You'll see a sponsorship, sponsorship. You don't need any of these sponsorship. You just go straight to the U.S. Department of State. You see U.S. Department of State here and then U.S. Department of State here. So you go straight to the U.S. Department of State and it says how to get my U.S. passport fast. So you click on that. You are taken to this page. So U.S. passport, need a U.S. passport. I already have a U.S. passport. Get my passport fast. How to apply. Passport help. Legal matters, right? So it's either you went on Google and hit urgent passport or you go to HTTPS dot backslash backslash travel dot state dot gov slash content slash travel that one. But what you need is it's not an expedited password because an expedited passport means that you're traveling less than eight weeks but your travel is in less than two weeks so because of that you need the urgent passport so the urgent passport it says choose a service if you're traveling less than two weeks this is what we need an urgent passport so um the first thing it says if you have not applied make an appointment online which is what we are about to do right now right so we click on make the appointment online and then online passport appointment system it says and this is a urgent travel need a passport quickly it's really important that you need to know is that you must have a valid email address so this is how they communicate with you so what's going to happen is when the process is once you fill out the form to get the appointment they are going to verify and send the information to your email address you click on your email address you click the link on the email address in order to finish the um the application so if you do not currently have an email address stop the video right here and create an email address if you don't know how to do it comment below joanne how do i create an email address and then i will also do that make sure you have an appointment before you go to the agency it's not like oh oh i have an emergency can i come in no they are very strict if you don't have your appointment you are not going to go past the first line they what happens is like you go with your appointment, you stand online, they call you up, you show your appointment, um, the, the confirmation that they sent you to your email, as well as all of your documents, which you make sure you fill out your documents online before you print it out, which is something that we're going to go into. Um, but right now, let's just go, let's continue with just the fact that Oh my God, my cruise is in two weeks. My passport is about to expire in two months and I need to get my stuff together. So the first thing I do is I run a line. I type in, in Google urgent passport renewal and then this is where I'm at right now. So it's important to know that when you schedule your appointment that you are you have to be traveling within 14 days, right? Okay, so once you've read everything here, 
which is again your email address or if fills are completed you need to make sure you have a uh, appointment before you go um, and then it tells you that you may schedule an appointment it has to be again within 14 days and as well as you will you will be able to provide proof of travel so that is really important such as a ticket receipt or um, itinerary so that one keep in mind that is where we're gonna work on in order to get that passport expedited the same day aka five hours or less okay so it's that ticket thing that's really important so um you agree to pay an additional sixty dollars fee to get it expedited again is the price is the same it's just sixty dollars in addition not bad for getting it the same day so you click the next so it will say please select an option right so oh yeah we didn't select an option right so the option that we are going to is i want to make a new appointment right we're going to make a new appointment i want to make a new appointment so we saw what happened we didn't click anything right and then we press next and then we saw what happened so i want to make a new appointment now we click next it says online passport appointment system step first travel plans agency select day and time appointment as of today it is april 4th proof of travel right all fields must be completed okay do you have an international travel plans so which means this is the whole reason why you're here right do you have a travel plan yes I need a passport the reason why it's important is that us is one americans we are very lucky this is one of very few states that you do not need a passport there are many u.s citizens who are out there and they have never had a passport in their entire life because all they have traveled is the traveled around the united states and when you are going on an airplane all you need is your id you just need a driver's license or an identification card you do not need a passport to travel within the united states however certain countries and cruises requires passports so when i say in cruises even on a cruise depending on your destination all you need is your birth certificate or a naturalization card if you if you don't have your passport yet is those because of those countries that requires passport you're going to travel if you're going to start traveling, you get a taste for travel, trust me, you're going to want to travel. So just get the passport and let's just do this, right? So we're going to do international travel. So the question is when your travel date is, right? So we are going to say our travel date is April 12. Oh my goodness. That is super soon. Let's see if they have any appointments ready for us. That's a week. So it says, do you need a visa? No, I do not need a visa, right? And it says, how many members of your household needs passwords? So if it's that just for yourself or you just for your kids as well. So you put that, let's just say two members, right? I'm traveling two members both of our passport is about to expire. Then you click next. And then it says online passport appointment system. It says enter your email to sign in or create an email. So that's when you enter your email, right? So I entered my email and it says an email code has been sent to your email. And then it says to so put the code there, right? You go to your email and then this is the first thing that you see. You see it says no reply and then it says the U.S. passport system verification check. That's why I said it's so important to have an email. So you click on that. And then you get the code, right? It says, thank you for returning for your passport verification code. And you get the code, you copy it, and then you go back and then you enter the code. And then you hit submit. Login onto the passport, congratulations. So this says again that log on to the US passport system, enter a six digit code we've just sent you on your phone. So you get your phone, phone, you enter the code as well. And then you click. So that's why it's really important to have your thing set up. Then you click the next. And now it's logged into the system. It says, we've verified your identity. Let's get it on, right? So your first step, super easy. You already have your travel date. You already um, put your thing. So now it's saying find your agency. Within the United States, there's only 26 passport agency centers. Do you understand what that means? That means that depending on where you live within the United States, you may have easy access or maybe you might have to fly somewhere 
or you might have to drive somewhere. So keep that in mind that there's only 26 offices where you can go to get your passport expedited or urgent or emergency same day passport. Okay, so just definitely keep that part in mind. All right, let's put the zip code 33101 and see what it gives me. Okay, so this zip code says I'm closer to Miami. So it gives me the options where I want to go to the Miami passport, the Atlanta passport, the New Orleans passport, because these are the three that's closer to me. So let's say that I want to go to the Miami one, right? So I click on this. And then it says that there's no appointment available. The 10th, let's keep on going. <gasps> Look at this, y'all. It says there's an appointment available April 11th. Mind you, my cruise is on Friday, April 12th. So I am ecstatic that there is an appointment that is available April 11th. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to get the earliest one, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to hit next. You're almost done. So it says that you have a tentative appointment Thursday, April 11 at 7 o'clock in the Miami. And it says that your reservation, you have 15 minutes to hold on to it, right? So you put your last name here. You put your phone number here. You put your pin here. And then you put your information and you say next. Now, because I am doing this for educational purposes, I will not continue. This is where my thing stops, but you hit next. And what then they're going to do is going to send you an email and tell you and send you the information. This is your appointment. This is the time for you to come. All right. So I'm just going to back out. Now we have our appointment schedule. Yeah! Now the next thing to do is the paperwork baby let's get the paperwork ready where are you going to get your passport from let's say we're going to get it from my ma so if you were wondering how much it costs to do it the same day it is 220 dollars i will verify with my information to see if that's actually the price that i paid if you are renewing your passport you do not need a ds11 you need to have the ds80 Two, okay so the way you get that form is so here you go how to apply right and then you get on this side don't even go to the fill out download form you click on passport forms when you get on passport form you scroll down and the first form you will see which is the you the DS 11 which is for application for US passport that's not what we need we need the DS 82 which is the renewal application I think I said before if I didn't say is that it is really important. I, when I originally did that, um, made a mistake and filled out the DS-11, was wondering why they were asking me certain questions, and then had to go back and fill out the DS-82. So these are the things that can delay your process. So you got the DS-82, renew your passport, um, you click the fill a form, and then you will, you read everything you say, and then you submit. Fill out your application online, what you need. So you need the most recent passport book and a printer, right? You submit. The instruction, you fill out this information and then it will bring you to this form. DS82 forms. You can find this forms a couple of different ways. You can go through the website to find this form or go into Google and hit in passport renewal application and um, go into where it says passport renewal application right here. Make sure it says US Department of State. I click on it and there goes the form, right? So the first question is gonna say is, I can submit my most recent US passport book, right? With this application. So yes, I can. So I was at least 16 years old when my most recent US passport was issued. And it is yes. Asher is uh, playing with a stick and that is why this is doing this. OMG, let me fix this. All right, so the next one says, I was issued my most recent US passport book um and card less than 15 years ago yes right because it's going to expire in two months but it's still 
not within that. So the U.S. passport book and or card that I am renewing has not been mutilated, damaged, or reported lost, right? That is correct, right? My U.S. passport was not limited, no, you, no less than the normal 10 years. Yes. And then you continue on and you fill it, right? So it says, if you answered no to any of the statement above, you got to stop, right? Um, you finish, you fill out the rest of this form. When you get to this part, this part, it says for issuing office only. It is not for you. So do not write anything on that part. You continue to fill out and then you print. Once you print, you make sure you go to CVS and or wherever you go for your passport pictures and you take your picture to go in the spot right there i don't know if you guys remember from my first video where i showed you which is really awesome i don't recommend that you do that but in case of emergency and you did not get your passport right away the passport office in miami actually does have a place where you can take pictures but like i said unless it's an emergency i recommend you have your pictures taken beforehand cvs takes your pictures i believe they charge you like anywhere between 16 and 20 dollars for the two passport pictures so definitely take it there so some housekeeping notes once you finish filling out the dsa2 is that when you are printing it do not print it out horizontally do not write on it after you have printed it out and do not print it out double-sided okay now when it comes to the document they need the original copies they need the original of everything you make sure you have the original and copies don't worry they're not going to keep it they're going to just have them look over it but they will give it back to you but make sure you need to have the original documentation the day of your appointment things that you need to make sure that you have make sure to have the original of all of these documents you either have your naturalization certificate or your birth certificate you have the ds82 form you have your passport you have your form of payment and you have an official state id okay y'all this is the gem that you've been looking for so the thing that's most important is that like i said before the documentation that shows your travel date that is very important so if your travel date is within like by the time you go to your appointment if your travel day is within one or two days of that appointment they will give you your passport right away so an example for me what happened was that my travel date was on a sunday i went to the passport place on a friday because there was no opening in between so they gave me my passport the same day so from the time that i went there within four hours i got my passport stamp even though it was not an emergency even though it was not a death but because of the time of my travel date they gave me that passport the exact same day so that is the key to get in your passport because they work there they're only trying their best to you know to do what they're doing is their job they're not trying to be a hard behind they're not trying to do any of those things so if they see that wow this person came here they paid the money they did all of those things and they're going to travel within you know one or two days and therefore i'm going to give them the passport right away so what did i do i showed i told you the different uh type of passport urgencies that they are i showed you how to fill out the passport um and what now i'm going to show you once you get to the passport office Thank you, sir. People who did not have their pictures and stuff, you can do it right here. All of those things, right? This is the front door. You come in and then you go to the elevator. And then there's a guy here selling food. Oh, 
hit the button. And it goes to the fourth floor. Elevator so coming down. Go there. Elevator. Four. Elevator. This is the elevator. You take the elevator to the fourth floor. Hey, y'all. We are. Oh, I must say one and um, they just hand it out. Let's see. Our appointment says on. I'm assuming everybody's appointment says on. I know. Now look at me with the makeup on. I feel like I look like I'm 20 years old. Okay. Exit. Ah, thank you. Daddy, you I was recording, but I wasn't. But we got our passport. We are exiting, and it was a lovely. It was great, and it was seamlessly easy. I hope that this helped you to uh, your experience that you're about to go through. Y'all, yeah, just go with this. Hit, tell, J O A. Self-plug. Tell Joanne. Oh, look at this lady. So this is me right here at the passport office. So I would definitely suggest you go to tell Joanne. It says U.S. issued her passport in four hours. How did they do it? And um, this mystery unfold. The mystery, as I'm talking about, is my eyes swelled up. So definitely check out this I give you guys a few seconds y'all you see my eyes swollen so definitely check it out this is what I'm saying when I talked about um, you can get y'all look at this in two days 2k I appreciate y'all for this I appreciate it so um check it out let me know if you have any questions <laughs>